Hello and welcome to Page Plays The Finding of Isaac. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start playing and explain what's happening as I go. Okay, so this is what I'm going to call Episode Zero of my Binding of Isaac series. And the reason I'm calling it Episode Zero, as opposed to just one, is because this is sort of going to be the episode in which I explain what's going on. I'm going to sort of just hopefully talk about what's going on if I don't get too distracted. Um, I am going to wipe my file after I finish playing this one quick game. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm actually going to turn that down a little bit. I don't know if that's loud for the viewers, but it seems a little loud for me. I don't know. Ugh. I don't know how this is going to go, playing and talking at the same time. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try my best. But the reason I'm going to wipe this existing file of the original version of Finding Visors is because I really want to get Platinum God. Well, there's actually two reasons. The first is that I really want to get Platinum God, and if I restart the file, it'll go back to going ve being very easy, and I'll be able to get the no damage achievements that I really, really want. Oh, I'm playing so badly. I think it's because I'm talking. I'm just going to have to get used to that. And I'm not a good player by any means, but I'm, I'm usually not quite this bad on the first floor. Oh, comma, Um... I can use this to try and find the secret room, maybe. Um, let's see. Okay. There it is. Well, that was useful. Uh, I'm just going to constantly be distracted. Let's see, where was I? Uh, let's see. So this is going to be the last playthrough of this particular file. And then I'm going to wipe my file because I have yet to get the no damage achievements. When you, if you're not familiar with them, basically, if you don't take any damage for a certain set of floors, then you get this achievement. And once you get all the items and all the achievements and all the endings and of everything, then you get Platinum God. And I have Golden God, which isn't bad, but I really want Platinum God. And I figure that if I restart my file, it'll go back to being really easy, and I might be able to get the no damage achievements. And I actually got that tip from another YouTuber who plays this game, um, that was BizSnap's advice, if you're familiar with, with BizSnap. So I, I'm not going to take credit for that idea. I heard it from someone else and thought it sounded like it might work for me. And the other reason that I'm restarting my file is because I want to have a series that has a very definitive beginning, middle, and end. I don't know. I just I think that would be entertaining. I think it sounds cool to just sort of show an entire playthrough of Isaac. I know it's been done before, but it looked really fun, and I always enjoyed watching them so much that I, I kind of want to do one for myself and just see how it goes. And hopefully it goes pretty well. I mean, I, I would love to get it done, you know, reasonably soon, but I also want to, like, enjoy the ride. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get Platinum God. It might take me forever. It, eh, it's probably going to take me forever. I was going to say it might not, but I think it'll probably take me a long time, which isn't a bad thing, as long as I'm having fun, I guess. And hopefully the viewers will be having fun, too. You viewers out there, I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> Watching me struggle to play while talking. Which is a lot more difficult than I thought, because, you know, I watch YouTubers who do Let's Plays, like Northern Lion and Biz Snap, and, you know, they're just talking away, and they make it seem easy. And I think it's going to take me a long time to really get used to that. Cause, uh, I mean, I think I'm either going to be saying really random odd things, or my thing is going to just suck, or both. Could very well be both. Uh, yeah, so I thought I would just take this time, this episode, to explain that I'm going to have a lovely Binding of Isaac series. And hopefully it'll be fun, and I can just get one last hurrah on this 
this file that I originally started since I bought the game. Just, you know, for nostalgia's sake and for a bit of closure before I delete everything and start all over again. Mm, I don't know how far I'll get. Because I can sometimes die in the most ridiculous ways. Uh, like, I've killed myself on blood donation machines. I've done really, really dumb things. And that's when I wasn't, like, talking at the same time, so... I don't know! We'll see how this goes. And, you know, I would love to eventually be able to play Reaver. You know, once I finish this version, get Platinum God, I'm going to move on to Rock and Lamb, of course, and get Platinum God there. This is the plan. And then, eventually, I'll get Rebirth, and then I can play with Eldridge. Potentially. I hope I can. Because then that would be really cool if we could play together. And even, like, the co-op mode. Because that would be neat. So, yeah. Big, big plans. <laughs> Grand plans. Uh, I hope that this series is a fun ride for everyone involved. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be having fun with it in all, in all hopes. In all hopes? I don't know what that means. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say some weird things. I already know that's gonna happen. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. I hate it when they ask me to do math. Let's see. 15 minus 22. I'm so bad at math. It's embarrassing. That would be seven cents, so I would be able to get the nine volt. I think I did that math right. Oh, thank goodness. That would have been so embarrassing if I did that math wrong. Okay. Goodness. I got the Steam sale there just because, I don't know, I, I tend to get the Steam sale if I can, unless it's like a really late floor. Maybe it's not the best strategy, but in the original, I just always kind of like tried to have fun with it not stress out too much, but I don't know, maybe that's why I haven't been able to actually get the no damage and all that stuff. I'm just not taking it seriously enough. I don't want this. This is not good. Uh, I don't know if I should be explaining what the items do. I guess it's a good practice. The bean just, it's a use item and I don't remember how long it takes to charge, but when you use it, it creates a poison cloud that will poison enemies, and that's what it does. But the D6 is better. It rerolls things. That's um, Charm of the Vampire. And I don't know exactly how many enemies you have to kill, but if you kill enough, you'll get one half a red heart back. Um, I'm not going to get another reroll, so I guess I might as well take this. It's okay. It's not bad. Um, if you're doing like tricky things where you're trying to like break the game, things like that, or you want a half heart interval for like um those items in like Wrath of the Lamb that, that's beneficial to have that. Or even some items in this version. Then you may not want this item. But I'm not taking it that seriously. I'm not really thinking about what items I might get or whatever. I'm just having fun, just enjoying it this last playthrough before I wipe this file. Ugh it's so surreal to be playing and, like, talking about what you're doing or just talking about random things. It's it's going to take some getting used to <laughs> for me. I, I, I don't know. You, you would think it maybe wouldn't be so bad, but it's just, it makes me really self-conscious. And, and I hope I get used to it. I'm sure I will eventually. Oh, thank you. My flies were blocked at least one bullet there. Blocked there. Those spitty little Steve spitting blood things at me. Thank you, flies. So, you can get one of two items from this boss. You can get Steven or little Steve. Little Steven? Little Steve? Anyway. Steven's better. It's just a raw damage up. But little Steve's not bad. It's a familiar that shoots bullets at enemies for you. Either one are bad. I prefer the damage up. Everybody prefers the damage up, I think. So whatever I get, I get. Um, I believe, according to BizSnap, it's like a 1 in 4 chance of getting Steven, which is the damage up. So you have a much higher likelihood to get Little Steve. 
which is what I got. What is it? Little Steve or Little Steven? It's Little Steve. Okay. So yeah, it's a much higher likelihood to get this one. And he's not bad. He's a little buddy. Shoots stuff for me. So, it's okay. Okay. So this is Caves 1. And I'm pausing here just to explain that this is actually... From here on out, this is where I could never get the no damage achievements. I got them for basement, because when you first start out, basement's really easy, so it's not too bad to not take damage there, but I could never get the no damage for the caves floors, the depths floors, or the room floors. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's the big reason why I couldn't get Platinum God, and hopefully... As soon as I restart this file, I'll be able to get them really easily, just like that. That would be awesome. If I don't get them really easily, just like that, when it's like super easy, then I'm just going to run into this situation all over again, where I don't have them, and the game's hard, it's just so hard to get them. Uh, but I don't know, I'll find out. Ah, that chest was okay, but... I don't know, I, I tend to be like a very impulsive player, I think it's like I see something that I can get, I get it. I don't think too much about whether it's actually a good idea. So again, I'm not a good player. I tend to just like really not think about it and have fun, I guess. Not that you can't have fun if you're really thinking about it. Um, maybe I'm just very terrible at video games and... Ah, uh, that vampire kills Tom the Vampire. Vampire kills. <laughs> that charm of the vampire was ill timed. But oh well. Vampire kills. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna be saying. What's gonna be coming out of my mouth? Uh, oh, that, that was good. That was good. Got another one. Ah. Uh, I hope I don't, like, forget to finish what I've been talking about. I'm sure that's gonna happen a lot too. I'm gonna get distracted, I'm gonna forget what I was talking about and just not finish explaining whatever I was explaining, or I'm gonna forget to talk about something I wanted to talk about. Hopefully I get better. Hopefully it all comes with time. Uh goodness. I don't I do not remember what I was saying before. I think I was just saying that oh yeah, just wanting to restart the file and Hoping I get the no damage achievements right away, because then if I don't, I'm gonna just worry about it. Like, oh no, I didn't get them right away, and the longer it goes, the harder it's gonna be to actually get them. Yeah, Twilight the Vampire, it's not. It's fine. It's not really. The timing's not great, but. Eh. It doesn't hurt. Relic is very, very good. I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna have this, this relic. Gimme. Um. After a certain amount of rooms, it drops a blue heart, which is good. And I don't remember how many rooms. <laughs> I never remember, like, exactly how much something gives you a stat up, or exactly how often something happens, or exactly how often it takes to charge things. Like, I never remember the raw numbers. <laughs> Again, I'm not great with math. I'm like the anti-biz snap in that way. Um, because biz snap's really good at math. At least I believe so. I believe that's biz snap. Anyway. Ah! Envy, no. Envy. Oh man, this is just gonna be comical, I think, watching me play badly and struggle to have, you know, sensical commentary. Is sensical a word? Because nonsensical is not a, is a word, but is sensical a word? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, Envy. I do not. Envy. My position. I don't envy envy. I don't know. Die. Die die. Die 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 die. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you how hard it is for me to like talk and play at the same time. It's kind of silly. I really hope I get better. I, I have no idea. I, I probably sound absolutely crazy. But as long as it's entertaining, that's what matters. Uh, yeah, this, this playthrough might actually last longer than I thought it would, because I thought I would just, like, die immediately, because I'm talking 
and trying to like remember all the things I want to say and probably forgetting most of the things. But I don't know. I made it to cave one. So there's a victory there somewhere. Uh yeah. Oh, I don't okay. Anyway. Go away. Did the relic drop the heart? It might have dropped one. I can't remember if it's dropped one yet. I don't know. I just never pay attention to these things. Uh, uh, oh boy. It's crazy. I just. So bad. Uh, chest. Let's open it. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, gosh. Is sensical a word? <laughs> I'm still on that. I want to look it up, but I might forget. I may very well forget to look that up. Uh, that happens to me a lot. Uh, okay. Let's get these things filled. Qualified. Ooh, ooh, bum. Okay. That was <laughs> so weird because something really nice popped up next to me and something really dangerous also popped up. And I had no idea what to do. Like, for a split second, my brain was like, what, 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 what? So then I realized, oh, just go towards the nice thing, Paige. Just go towards the nice thing. That's what we do. So there's the secret room. Let's go there. The map shows the location of the secret room. Don't know why, but it does. Better for me. Lots of money. Okay. Huh? Good for the next couple of floors. I might run into greed in the shop. That is a thing that can happen. Uh, is there anything else in here that I might want to get? Uh, let's see what this yeah, It's not much better, but I don't ever really have any use for the pool. I know I can teleport you. It's the tail about the pool teleports you back to the spawn room. Um, I know it can teleport you out of a dangerous situation if you're about to die, but I feel like that even that's rarely helpful because, I mean, eventually you still have to progress forward. You still have to go into rooms or whatever. And so, I mean, unless you cleared a path and there's hearts along the way, I don't know. I guess it really can be useful. I just find that I tend not to bother with it. This is Chad, by the way. Uh, Chad... Always drops little Chad, maybe? I think it always drops little Chad, but I don't like little Chad. Little Chad just drops hearts, half red hearts. And it's, it's seldom necessary. I'm gonna have all the heart dropping items. You got Charm the Vampire, which heals you. I'm gonna have little Chad. I'm gonna, I already have the Relic, which drops blue hearts. This is assuming I can defeat Chad might kill me. I forgot to use that. And then I took damage. Oh my gosh. This, this is just crazy. I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. If I survive this, I'm gonna get Little Chad. And I was just thinking, can I reroll Little Chad? It's something I should know, but I just don't remember. Can I reroll it? I don't know. I might as well try. There's nothing else to reroll on this floor. I'm gonna try to reroll Little Chad. It doesn't work. At least it didn't work that time. And I should be able to get a charge again pretty quickly because I do have the 9 volts. The 9 volts, it gives you one charge automatically even after you just used your item. So like the V6 would ordinarily take 3 rooms I think to charge? Or 6 rooms? Maybe it gives you a third of a charge then. I don't know. Okay. The 9 volt gives you some amount of charge. Anyway, it should be easy and quick to recharge my D6. So I'm not too worried about attempting to reroll little Chad. Now if I could just remember in the future that you can't reroll it, or it appears you can't reroll it. I have watched so many episodes of the Snap and Northern Lion playing by Isaac. I should know everything by now, but it's just a testament to how ridiculous and how messed up my brain is that I don't actually remember everything. It's okay though. Just having fun. Just light-hearted fun time. I guess I should go to the sea. I think I'm gonna be interrupting myself a lot. Ugh. Money. 
keep the fire. Hold my fire. Okay. I'm going to finish off this little tiny section, hopefully, without dying. Got some maws and we got some hosts. I remember a lot of the enemies' names, but not all of them. Not all. A lot, but not all. This is a maw, this thing that I just killed. And that's a host. Hosts are annoying, and maws are annoying. I don't like them. If you've seen the videos where I was watching as Eldridge plays, um, <laughs> I talked about how maws sound like ducks to me. And I, I thought they did, but I don't know, I guess they're really not supposed to sound like ducks. Just to me, it's like, sounds like a duck. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. I, I mean, I know I'm crazy, but maybe I'm crazy in that particular regard. It's very possible. Let's see. Uh, I don't remember what these are called. Yes, yeah, I, mean, I don't remember them all. Should know them all, but I don't know them all. That'll be like a secondary goal. Platinum God is the primary goal. Well, slash making an entertaining series, I guess. And then, like, a secondary goal is just to, like, remember all the enemies. I don't think I'm gonna ever remember, like, the mathematical, like, what percentage it is to get this and how much stat up this item is. I don't know if I'll ever remember that stuff, but at least remember the enemies' names. That would be cool. Wow! Ah! It hit me. It hit me in so ashamed. Oh, never mind. Charmed the Vampire healed me right up. Had my, had my back. I, I just got really confused. Okay, let's just go this way. <laughs> I just got so confused. Ugh. I'm just very special. Okay, get the money, get the money. Free money. Okay, and we have our golden room. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of health related items, which is fine. I like damage. But health is obviously very necessary, so I try not to complain about health items. It's Scully! I was sort of watching Eldritch play. We decided we were going to name this little three skull man, three skull person. And I said I wanted to name it Scully. Because <laughs> it has skulls in front of it. <laughs> because I'm so creative. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm just going to call the three skull Monty uh, person. I'm just going to call them Scully. So this is Scully, everyone. Hey, Scully. Oh, I wanted the mulligan. I wonder if we should also call this Scully when it appears as like just a beggar randomly asking for money and it doesn't have the skulls. Maybe we should think of a different name for that one. I don't know. I don't know how much money I should spend. There's a lot of health lying around. I don't remember if all of it was accessible. Uh, maybe should I play the blood donation machine a little bit? I don't know. Um, maybe a little. Oh. Okay. Thank you. This is very nice. Okay, that worked out. I wanted money, but I shouldn't lift a gift. <laughs> I shouldn't lift a gift horse in the mouth. Is what I was going to say, and then I just went ahead and said it because it was funny. I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. I shouldn't lift a gift horse in the mouth. Probably shouldn't do that either. Honestly. I'm just gonna spend all my money here, aren't I? That's what happens. That's what happens. Gambling. Ugh. I'm not gonna get anything good. I haven't gotten anything, have I? Thank you. Got some keys. Ugh. I shouldn't lift a gift horse. Ugh. I don't know if I'm gonna give my episodes individual titles, cause I don't really think it's necessary. But if I were giving them individual titles, I might call this episode Don't Lift a Gift Horse. Cause it's heavy! Shouldn't be lifting that. I don't care if you're a bodybuilder, you just 
there has to be a limit to how much you want to lift. That's just too much. You're going to hurt yourself. You have to be safe. You have to be safe. My sister lifts. I don't. <laughs> but <laughs> I know a person who lifts, and you gotta, you got to be safe. you got to be careful. I am dying. Jeez. All this damage. you got to be safe when you're lifting. You don't want to be lifting random horses, whether they're a gift or not. It's just not a good idea. I don't want to judge you in your lifestyle, but just just be safe, okay? Give me that solid and just be safe. Um, yeah, okay. This path is fine. I, I just noticed the secret room. I, I would have been able to see it for the entire floor, but I just now it just now registered in my messed up brain. Like, oh, there's the secret room. And I take damage. Oh, uh, always taking damage. Oh. Uh, <laughs> such poor decisions. Such poor decisions. Uh, oh. Oh my. Okay, let's see the, t the tower. Okay. Tower makes a lot of bombs appear that go off in a couple of seconds as soon as they appear. And, okay, let's just use it. Ah! I shouldn't have used it. I always make such poor decisions. Shouldn't use it against Lust. Lust is too quick. I have to constantly move. Ugh. I guess there's nowhere to go but up from here. I can only get better. Hopefully. Okay, Poison Touch. Poison Touch is good. If an enemy hits me, it does damage to them. You know how, like, all the enemies in this game do damage to you if you touch them? Well, now, the shoe's on the other foot. I can also do damage to the enemies if they touch me, which is good, which is nice. Oh, gosh. Oh, walked on the spikes. Oh, I'm so terrible. I'm embarrassing. I'm embarrassing myself. Uh, I have a pity. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it into the machine. Feed my gambling addiction. Oh, oh I'm so bad at the spikes. So bad. I need to get better. Uh, I I play with a keyboard. I play with my keyboard. I don't have a controller. Um, I have never owned a controller in my life. Uh, wish I did. Uh, some people say it's a lot easier with the controller. I think it depends on what you started on. If you're really used to the keyboard and you suddenly switch to the controller, I think that's going to be an adjustment period. I mean, I would assume. Oh, I already went to the... Oh my gosh, I'm so crazy. I already went there. Oh boy. Okay, I already went there. Just cannot. All the floors are running together. I can't keep anything straight. As you can see, as soon as the torger hit me, it, it died because I do damage to it now. I have poison touch. And that's that. Ah, uh, goodness. What was I saying? Oh, Paige. Oh, Paige. You're so crazy. <laughs> My brain is so messed up. Uh, what's this? Pain. Goodness. Can't remember. I apologize, viewers. I just, I'm, I'm a spaz. Oh, this is a Claudie. Which I'm gonna kill, hopefully. Okay, there we go. Oh, what was I saying? It's gonna bother me. I don't remember. I don't know what it was. Oh, it's embarrassing, but I don't remember. Something about I'd already been to the secret room. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I apologize to everyone. There's no excuse for me, but I apologize. Let's see. Let's go inside here. No money. I thought it might be greed, but it's not. Greed would give me money. Okay. This doesn't matter. The Bible. I wouldn't have wanted the Bible anyway. But if I had money, I could try rerolling it, but I don't, so. Uh, the only other thing I might be able to do is blow up the machines to try and get money. That might work, but I doubt I'll get seven cents from that. It's possible, but I, I don't think it's very likely. Why not? I'll give it a shot. Come on. I might want to reroll what the boss gives me. But I, I almost never reroll what the boss gives me. I don't know why. I almost never do. I didn't get any money there. 
We got a, this is the first kill of this game. I don't know. Should I use it? Should I wait? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yes. Uh, what was I saying? I just cannot keep a thought in my head for longer than ten seconds. It might actually be a medical condition. Probably not. Probably. Oh, it's Peep! Peekaboo. Alright, Peep. I'm gonna try this pill. Oh, well, that was just fine. It only teleported me one room away. So that could have been worse. Okay, Peep. Sorry. Sorry about that, Peep. I didn't mean to just, like, duck out on you. Oh. See if you hit me. Why did you do that? I thought we had an understanding. Is that retribution for me just teleporting out of here? Being all rude to you? Keep, I hate to break it to you, but we are enemies. The whole rudeness thing, it doesn't really factor into our relationship. Keep. Keep. Calm down. Oh, I should have gotten hit there. My fly helped me, I think. My fly blocked something there. Oh no. This is way too close to Peep. I need to just slide away from this. Ah! Oh. Again, my flies blocked a shot there. Thank goodness for my flies. Okay, Peep, 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 get your eyes away from me. Oh man, I tried to dodge and I dodged into it. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Oh, it's still fun though. No matter how bad I am. Still fun. Peep, please die. That's enough. It's quite sufficient. You put up a great fight. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think I would reroll what the boss gave me because I almost never do. Okay, let's just get out of here. Go to the next floor.